At what point does the magic happen when someone becomes more human than human? Hello, it's June 2022. And before I get into this video, I want to start off by talking about putting people on a pedestal and where this really comes from. Now, in today's world, a lot of people assume that putting someone on a pedestal comes from putting a statue of a human figure on a pedestal or on a pillar. But there seems to be something deeper to this. Now, a long time ago, Christian saints or prophets or whatever descriptive you want to call them used to climb up on ancient pillars, pagan pillars, and live up there and preach to the common person below Christianity. Now, because of this, there seems to be some divine or supernatural elevation of these people. And this is why when we put someone on a pedestal or use that phrase, we're raising them above everyone else, including ourselves. Now, why am I talking about putting people on a pedestal? Because in today's world, the common person has put for example, people in various positions of authority on a pedestal. And now various positions of authority includes obviously law enforcement, but also governing bodies like government. It also includes the medical profession, the real medical profession, as well as the liberal arts theoretical pseudoscience of psychology profession. It includes a whole range of different professions as well as the corporate world and people attribute wealth being a blessing from the gods or God and that's why they're for example put on a pedestal better than everyone else and people who obtain various positions of authority or any kind of title or anything else they tend to believe that there's something special better than everyone else but I digress. Now, there's an assumption, for example, that people in various positions of authority, including government, have a duty to serve and protect the common person, which is not the case. We observe Supreme Court rulings where they're very clear. For example, police have no duty to serve and protect people. Now, when you look at the training that the police have, and I'm not picking on police, I'm simply highlighting some facts, they're trained, first off, for self-preservation. Now, governing bodies have the monopoly on violence. And they're trained for self-preservation because if anything happens to them, they can't serve and protect, for example, who signs their paycheck, the state. The state claims to represent the people. So under that guise of the people being the state, it's actually the state controlling the people. The state is looking after their own best interest. And I've talked about society being so divided up that now the common person is only looking after themselves. But I'm going to digress there. We see, for example, when someone calls the police to do a wellness check on someone. Now, a wellness check is, for example, friend, family, a colleague, or someone has concerns about someone else's well-being. Perhaps they're concerned that this person is going to self-harm. Uh, trying to figure, trying to use a proper descriptive. Um, to finish themselves, for example, or maybe they're just in a dangerous situation overall. So they call for a wellness check. And what we see a lot of times, and again, this is no diss against individuals in the police, but we see these people being checked on, either being seriously injured or even killed. And the irony being is someone had called in to make sure that this person is safe which turns into them not being safe. And this is not only limited to the police, but for example, hospitals, real hospitals, and the fake hospitals with the liberal arts 
theoretical pseudoscience of psychology governing bodies and people are constantly turning to these people on pedestals in various positions of authority to resolve everything and what we see is when they get involved they make things worse part of the problem is that governing bodies tend to be so big and everyone's doing their own little piece compartmentalized that that in itself is bound to create a lot of errors now when various positions of authority error they're protected so they're not held accountable personally and as a governing body for example they're not even held accountable with, to that regard on top of that one of the biggest reasons why people will turn to officials because not only they're protected but they're also insured and a lot of people don't want to get involved because if something goes wrong they're scared of getting sued or even charged and people just divert the responsibility of for example helping someone else we have a problem by putting people on a pedestal because as I've said many times before in today's world most people are weak minded stupid and lack critical thinking skills an extensive knowledge base and most of all cannot separate their emotions when making conclusions and what happens is as an arbitrary number say 75% of the people fit that category any profession is drawing from that gene pool now yes you can argue well before someone becomes a professional in a profession they're vetted and they have to jump through all these hoops and everything else it's not perfect but then we over the past 20 30 years we kept lowering the bar to it doesn't even exist anymore so now that we have the we have wrong people who shouldn't be in various positions of authority in those positions and look at the world today so I just wanted to give you something to think about again I'm not picking on any one particular profession for example law enforcement I am highlighting the liberal arts theoretical pseudoscience of psychology I've talked extensively about how nonsensical they are and how it's used as a weapon against people I digress anyway take what you will from this video thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and share Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me all the time, when is it going to get easier when you die?